Hey, David here. We are gonna do some FPV with the Strange Bird, the 29 inch version, SB29. Pretty excited about it. I wasn't sure exactly how to mount the camera to keep the Vista in the cool air. Uh, that's one of the things that's really important here in Arizona is that we get cool air coming through and, and always hitting the video transmitter because they get super hot and we don't ever want it to shut off. Um, I've had to lay this on the outside here. I shortened the the uh, hatch a little bit to lay on top which is going to be just fine since our battery ends up almost directly on the cg line um, i spent a little bit of time flying it uh, line of sight and playing with the cg this last week which I, I didn't record sorry about that but i just wanted to have some time with it and i found that if i moved it, the cg back too far it would get really tippy very uh you'd slow down and do any turns it would want to tumble out which is kind of scary so you're always better off in this airplane in, and most wings be nose heavy start nose heavy uh, and then slowly move it back and when i had the when you got the cg right the stall characteristic is simply a nod forward and you'll just see the plane kind of nodding forward and you can just work the, it back just a little bit until it, it's very stable. When you let off the throttle, you want that nose to just kind of settle in and not tip down too much. Um, if it is tail heavy and you pull off throttle, you'll see that it'll just get uncontrollable. I get questions of why the forward swept wing. You know, it's, it's something I've flown for years. I've had uh, variants of this same airplane that it just flies so nice. Part of the idea of the forward swept wing is it, it funnels air to the center of the cord on the wing. And so you, when you've got the CG right, it should not tip stall at slower speeds. It's very stable. I actually have found that and it's, it's a fun and weird looking airplane to fly. Hopefully by the time that th this airs, this video that I have this up I'll have all the files up and available for download uh, you can get the PDFs to tile out and print it and cut it and I also will have all the STL files included the cool thing about this is most of the STL files besides the camera mounting and the camera and the motor mount here are exactly from the D2 Delta twin. It, because we're adding the extra weight of the camera gear, I'm gonna test flying with a 1300 size pack and also the 2200. I have a feeling that it might do well with a little lighter battery, at least be able to slow it down a little bit more when I'm doing the landings, but we'll give it a, a try and we'll send it. I've got the battery in there and it's right under here and my CG should be at a good starting point. Let's fly this line of sight real quick and then we will go FPV. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Is it clear? Lining up. There we go. Oh yeah. <laughs> I had to turn on the camera there so I can look left. I'll tell you that is awesome. I might have it a little nose heavy, which is okay. Looks like I've got a little jiggle in the servo. Right there, see that? In the center position. I wonder what that's from. Touch and go. Low flyby. Nine, eight, seven, 
Six, five, little touch four, and go there. Okay, there's the right wing, left wing. Yeah, I think I can, I can move that battery back a little bit more. So let's go ahead and try that. Landing! Let's bring it in. I'm gonna move that battery back just a little bit. All right, cool. Is it clear? I think I can probably bring it back a little bit more too. I'm keeping a little bit of too much back pressure. You can certainly hear this airplane. And I do like seeing a little bit of the nose. Um, gives you perspective of the, the attitude of the airplane in flight. My OSD on this one, I'm using a light version which only gives me voltage i don't have a gps um, or altitude a barometer it's just giving me reading the voltage off of my flight pack so i'm getting and right now with a couple of small short flights that i've done the line of sight the previous i'm nearing the end of the pack and this is the 1300 i have a bird there's a new bird in the sky Fluttering like it owns the night Maybe it's just passing through Some folks stop and wonder why But I'm drawn to its wild flight It's just a little bit strange A little bit free And it sings like it's lost in the wind Can't you see? A tell the unknown Floating far from home Trying to find a way back clouds it's dancing all so bright its feathers paint the stars like a canvas in the light some say it's a ghost a dream in the sky me i just fly let this bird go and fly by because it's a little bit strange a little bit free and it seems like it's lost in the wind caught you see tell the unknown floating far from home Trying to find a way back So let the stories linger Of the bird that came to stay A melody of wonder That makes us feel okay it's a little bit strange, a little bit free And it sings like it's lost in the wind Can't you see? A tale of the unknown Floating far from home Trying to far from home Trying to find a way back So my final thoughts on the Strange Bird, the 29 inch SB29 A lot of fun I do think it flies a little bit better on the lighter 1300 battery, but I did put two more 2200 milliamp hour batteries on it and flew those through. Overall, it's a lot of fun. I'm looking forward to flying it some more. 
the FPV experience on there with the pan camera is just amazing. I, I'm i really liking the pan on the wings. Anyway, I have another design that will be coming out. Stay tuned, and you'll be seeing that shortly. As for now, you, you should be able to find the STL files and the PDF for the kit up on the internet, up on printables. As always, get out there and fly, and thanks for watching. Yeah!